I've been a plumber for 75 years. They said, well, you don't look like that you're that old. I said, no, I'm not, but I was born on a plumbing truck. My dad was a master plumber. Now, since I'm retired, I've got a chance to work on my own leaks. Barney Smith remembers the days of having to grab the kerosene lantern in Sears catalog and head outside right in the middle of a Texas blue norther. It was just a part of life, but pipes, pliers, and plumbers went and changed all that. And when Barney was only knee high to a monkey wrench, he started sticking his head under people's sinks. Lots of patience and a lot of good common sense of what you have to do in order to, to get the job done. But most of all, you've got to have a sense of humor. Old Barnes got a barn in the back of his house. It's a warehouse of sorts, I guess you could say. But what's stored back here is, well, Barney Smith's legacy, a lifetime of lids. No telling how many thousands of seats that I've taken out in my lifetime. I always call this my toilet seat muse art museum. A plumber's shop plumb full of toilet seats. Barney Smith has decorated, dedicated, and almost detonated more than 300 lids in his lifetime and generously hung them out for the world to look at. You're sticking with your profession, and since I can get these for nothing, you can't beat that. There are some of the things that I played with when I was just a uh, small boy growing up in my dad's plumbing shop, and I mounted them on a toilet seat lid, and none of them you don't want to sit on. Open slowly, do not disturb. There are some people that ask me, said that if you uh, lost your marbles, I said, no, I haven't lost them. I've got them on a toilet seat. Of course he's got all his marbles, and just about every knife, fork, and spoon that's been washed down any drain in South Texas. I have removed ridiculous objects that have been dropped down in the sink, drain, toothbrushes, sucker sticks. Oh, I've even got contact lens out of sink traps. After 50 years, it takes a long time. I even got toys out of them that the children have been using in the bathtub and they'd go down into the trap. I believe I've seen it all. I was at Randolph Air Force Base here October the 20th. And uh, I told one of the officers out there, I said that I wanted one of the patches off of his uniform, and he just uh, pulled it off. And so that's the patch that I took off of his, that he took off and gave it to me. Bashful he's not. This plumbing pack rat would ask for the shirt off your back if it would fit on a toilet seat. Barney will settle for any commode keepsake, long as you'll let him display it in the museum. Whenever I am on a trip, well, then I say, well, would you mind me taking this back with me to put on display? And uh, they'll say, well, sure. It doesn't bother me at all to ask for something to put in my museum. You're going to take time to come in and look around? Well, they're from Germany. Listen to <laughs> that. I want you to sign my guest book. I'll have another Germany okay. listed. I don't have a 21 countries already listed in there. France, Japan, and what's that, England? Mm -hmm. Over here on this side is my mother's buttons and jewelry. I'm up to 344. Go ahead and make yourself at home. Whenever they come through here, they can go be going 30 miles an hour down this road, and they will turn around and come back slower and stop, and I say, come on in. You got time? I'll show you around. If you could, uh, if you could speak Chinese over here on the chopsticks, I have taken Chinese. that out to the Chinese restaurant here in town. 
And I said, I've got something here for you to read. And she said, God bless you. I said, that's what it's supposed to be. You will spend an hour in here, 30 minutes, sign my guest book. Some of them are completely out of the country. I've got 21 countries uh, registered in my guest book. And this is the second guest book, and it's almost full. I think I've got two pages left here in this. See me again. You know that next yeah. week I have two more people coming from Germany, and okay. I will bring them here also. Good. I'll be, a, I'll be a look at all right. Barney Smith's going to have to build a bigger barn for his toilet seat Smithsonian someday. It just proves that in today's world, one man's toilet seat is another man's treasure. I hate for the telephone to ring and uh, one of my friends have trouble with their plumbing. I say, I'd rather be out there. I said, don't answer the telephone. Let it ring off of the wall. I'd rather work on a toilet seat lid.